Sudan. Yes, yeah, sure. Nice to meet you, yeah, Your yeah. Excellency. Yes. So, how you think about today this wonderful, powerful program you are in, security and peace in Africa? Yeah, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, it has been a very wonderful um, uh, meeting. Uh, we dealt uh, with a number of uh, issues, but uh, then uh, came the issue of funding to the uh, AU and specifically to the uh, uh, AU uh, Peace and Security Council, uh, which was discussed and modalities were suggested. Uh, and then came the second issue was uh, South Sudan. And uh, South Sudan, uh, in the context of uh, uh, what is the progress in the uh, in the implementation of the of the agreement? Uh, chance uh, was actually given to the uh, to the head of uh, the EGAT, uh, which is the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. So he gave the outline of uh, how the peace uh, progress is going on. Uh, in which case he mentioned the signing uh, of our president of uh, of the agreement. Uh, on the 26th of August, and immediately the following day, he also signed uh, the ceasefire uh, agreement. Uh, and uh, on the 13th of uh, uh, this month, uh, there was a workshop in Addis Ababa uh, in which we were going to smoothen out and implement the, um, the, the, the security arrangements. Mm -hmm. And these security arrangements, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we agreed on, it with the, on this with the rebels almost 95 percent, uh, but uh, the, uh, they misinterpreted uh, the issue of how large a force the presidential guard should be in Juba, because this was about the, the redeployment. And then uh, whether they also have the right, they, they said they have the right uh, actually to partake in the joint uh, uh, integrated police, uh, in uh, in the in the three uh, states of uh, unity, uh, Upper Nile and Jongole, but agreement does not give them that uh, chance only for Juba Town. So this we also clarify, and so uh, this is where we stand. They have not signed uh, after that workshop the memorandum uh, of understanding. That was very important, so that we proceed ahead. This is the only issue remaining. So I think this was, uh, but uh, otherwise we clarified the rest of the things. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. So in terms of uh, funding, I remember I'm a survivor of genocide. I remember uh, one day uh, they asked uh, United Nations and America to stop radio RTLM, which was uh, spreading the hatred message to inspire uh, Hutu to kill Tutsis. So they said that the only reason they cannot stop it is too much money. It's very expensive. So what uh, strategy are you going to use in South Sudan in South Sudan to prevent that the fact of uh, money should not be issued in South Sudan? Well, the, 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 uh, w when we spoke, when we spoke, uh, I think most of the speakers emphasized on the fact that we, the Africans, really should begin to take over the ownership of our problems, really, rather than depending on the UN, depending on other developed countries, and so on. This is counterproductive. Uh, and so this was an emphasis made and that uh, many of our countries are not paying their dues really to, to the AU and this must be corrected. Uh, as for the current uh, uh, situation of uh, AU uh, funding, uh, the, the UN has agreed to pay a portion, a, a fraction, and uh, the AU also uh, is going to solder the other fraction. So I think this is the final situation about it. Oh, my last question, entrepreneurship. We all know that entrepreneurship is a way to get out from the poverty. What plan you have for young people in South Sudan? Well, in South Sudan, uh, we are encouraging, uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, possible employment, and uh, also the young ones, not uh, only to be seeking for uh, employment with the government, uh, they should uh, resort to things like uh, the microfinance even, uh, where uh, you, you know they can start even in a small way uh, the, their own enterprises and so on, uh, uh, so, so that uh, in a short time they can become uh, self-reliant because unless we do this then there will be a lot of unemployment uh, which is a big burden we are carrying on our heads and then of course th uh, the what results out of that is criminality, uh, rate, 
uh, also that also increases. So we, we, we are doing our level best. We were only interrupted by that and called for war. But otherwise, we were following the correct path to solve uh, the, the problem of the interferenia city. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Isidoso. This is Afi Vision Nouvelle. Brunch, Sunday, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Thursday, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Channel 69. Manhattan in New Jersey, Tuesday, 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Channel 67, 85, and 36. Brooklyn and Staten Island, Friday, 7 o'clock to 7.30. Channel 68, 79, and 43. Queens, Friday, 7 o'clock to 7.30. Channel 43. This is our website, www.avntv.net. Once more www.avntv.net Thank you.